What's up guys, my name is Khan, and we're back today with more Crashlander Survival and today we're going to uh, actually go check out the coordinates. I want to get going a little bit on the quest line mainly because I want to get a power drill. Uh, right now we only have the handsaw and it's great. I cleaned up the rest of the wood around here. There's no more scraps. So we're going to take some of this stuff off the vehicle and uh, put it on the base platform and then we're going to go check out these coordinates and hopefully unlock the power drill because right now we can't drill with the power drill and it, it's it drilling is so slow it's unbelievably slow and we don't even have the recipe for either of these yet so i don't know maybe we'll get a side quest that'll unlock this power drill i don't even know what this is that's that's cool it's like i don't know what that is is that a hang glider that'd be awesome if that was a hang glider i don't know anyway we're gonna unlock some stuff it's gonna be great and, uh, of course, I did clean up the base a little bit. What was I gonna do? Oh, yeah, I had to build a chest. That's right. I gotta build one of these. I needed an extra storage chest. No, I need one of these first, and then I need one of those. Um, but yeah, it's really, really good stuff. I changed the base around. I got rid of the elevator because I realized, uh, using two pistons for an elevator is very stupid. So I made it into a staircase instead. And, uh, like I said before, gonna use some concrete. This is literally all the concrete I had. I had like two and a half stacks and this is this is what it makes. It's very sad. But yeah, we're gonna make a, a sort of driving garage area here. Not necessarily big enough for all of our vehicles, but at least big enough for like our main truck that we're gonna have and drive around. Still living life just permanently in the shadow of this tree. Um, but that's fine. Eventually we'll, we'll build you know, a connection point from this tree to that tree go up and everything will be grand and it'll be fantastic. But uh, uh, for now, let's just strip this down. So let's uh, take this chest off, put this down here. No problem. Let's get the smelter. We'll put that right over there. And again, connect this chest back up to the output of the smelter. It's always nice to have a chest there. Perfect. We'll dump the rest of our metal into that. Clear out the inventory a little bit. Um, grab the alternator chest with batteries in it. And I know a lot of you guys were saying uh, with the alternator, you're like, oh, it's a pain in the butt that it resets every time. Whoa, that was bad. I almost deleted a thing I didn't want to do. Um, you guys were saying like it's a pain in the butt, the fact that it resets every time you put it on a lift. And that's true, but we can just fix that uh, really quickly if we just grab ourselves a logic gate and we put it on a not gate. So what I'm going to do is just break that off. There we go. Perfect. We're going to weld this to a pillar on our base platform. And then I'm going to put a knot gate on it so that whenever we come back into the chunk, it'll automatically turn itself back on. So if we do something like this, weld this to here, it's nighttime, so we'll have to sleep. And then I just take this knot gate, put that there, and then I go switch to knot gate to controller. There we go. And now whenever we come back into the chunk, that's automatically going to turn back on because it'll see that the switch is off because the switch will reset but the, uh, the not gate won't, so this will be good. It'll just produce batteries whenever we're in this chunk. Oh, we got a lot of batteries now. It's great. We might actually have to switch to an electric vehicle, although I am curious at some point, Tom, I do want to try making an electric vehicle that has alternators that run off controllers in the front and then see if that electric vehicle has enough power off the alternators to drive forever or if it needs to... I mean, it probably would have to wait. I don't know if it would actually be able to do it forever. Are you serious? We're going to use two metal blocks in that? All right, well, that's that's nice. We're just gonna podge-podge this car together. All right, that's good. Uh, let's put the cooking platform down here. Don't really need that. And then let's grab that other chest when it finishes. Here we go, perfect. And we're just gonna throw this down here as well and dump some more inventory stuff into it. Don't need spuds. Don't really need the component kits. All right, we should be good to go. Um, let's collect all this, dump this into here. Might as well. There we go. I think we're good to go. Uh, I should bring, you know what, I'm gonna bring one stack of blocks. Scrap blocks? I guess I'll bring two stacks, because scrap blocks are tear- Ah, uh, no, wait, do we have- we have- I have better blocks than that. I should bring a stack of, like, yeah, there we go, a couple stacks of metal blocks, just in case, you know, you ever need to build something. And, uh, I'm gonna bring the passenger seat, too, now that I think about it, because you can always use a seat, put a seat down somewhere, and, uh, get some more high up, or whatever. Got a little bit of gas, so let's set our coordinate location to this. This is the coordinates we need to go to way the heck over there and uh let's just send it this car is going to be great now i kept the regular crafting stations on here i figure you know just in case we have to do some emergency crafting of something although we don't really have like three quarters of the materials uh they're all back at the base but you know whatever it is what it is and uh, i should i should remake this vehicle at some point and make something that's a little more you know a, a little better i guess 
possibly put some suspension on it. That would be nice. Um, and then I, but I definitely want it. Yeah, I'm gonna do that once we get more copper. We need more copper. If we can get more copper, I can get some alternators. And then try and make an electric vehicle with alternators. A lot of you guys pointed out in the comments too that apparently it is more efficient to trade for component kits with the copper than to uh, build them yourselves. I haven't actually looked at the crafting recipes yet and checked the total quantities, but I'll believe you guys. It's it's better to go trade them for one of the guys at the HQ trades component kits. So, you know, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I need to make an oil pump. There's so many things to do. We have so much stuff to do. I need to make a gas station out in the uh in the desert there component kits and spuds that's great whatever uh but yeah i need i need to definitely go make a gas pump an oil pump out in the desert so we can you know mass have oil um the thing is that way no pond behind us i don't think but yeah need a gas pump need to do more base stuff need a lot of base automation we need all the advanced versions of these crafting stations can only imagine the amount of material we've been wasting because it seems like the advanced versions not only do it automatically, but also have better ratios. So, like, how much material have we wasted building stuff like chemicals with terrible ratios? Or, like, building wood, even. You know, I probably could have gotten a whole ton more wood out of my, uh, out of my scrap wood if we had the automatic station rather than the manual nonsense. There's literally no water anywhere here. We're not... That was scrap. Ooh, okay, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna grab this stuff. The scrap is actually wicked. Look, 44 scrap from a single thing. Like, it's just, you have to stop for these. Scrap metal is okay. I mean, I guess you don't really need it later once you have regular metal, but scrap metal is good stuff. All right, I think these coordinates are in this desert. Are they? I, I can't tell. There's no distance on it. It's close. It's definitely getting close. Oh, it's right there. What? is that i can't even oh there's a little oh there's a little building okay there's a little building nestled in the thing there that's cool that's cool oh this is neat it actually does kind of look like an elevator shaft oh that's super cool all right let's check this out are there any wolves no we're good i have a sword i probably should have a gun I feel like there's going to be worse enemies down in here. This is nice. Break down the barricade. Thank you very much. All right. Get some soil, component kits, fertilizer, whatever. That's all useless stuff. Um, is there anything else? I guess I should put my vehicle up on a lift. Just in case something comes to attack it. Can I go up this? Yeah, I love the fact that ladders work in this game. Like, can we can we talk about that? Like, the fact that ladders work in this mod is amazing. Component kit, I can definitely steal that. I can definitely steal that. No connections. I guess we're going into the mine. My trusty sword. Here we go. All right. I, I entered the elevator. Oh, boy. Blueprint unlocked. Headlamp. Okay. Okay, that's going to be super useful. A headlamp is, is going to be awesome. What is that? What is, is that just a light? Oh, those are just lights. Okay. Okay, there's lots of rock nodes here. I wonder... I wonder if you can take a vehicle down here. Probably, right? Like, with the warehouses, you could put vehicles in the elevator and they would teleport. So I feel like as long as your vehicle fits on this platform... We could take it down here. We need, we're going to need a really, really compact refining vehicle. I don't really care so much about the mining part of it. Because I think mining in the mines... Like mining, we're just going to use the power drill. And that'll be easy. But we need a compact refining vehicle. So as we move along, we can just automatically refine the stuff. Uh, what is that? Is that a coal node? Oh, it's just a, it's just a single... Oh, it's just a single coal block. Okay. That was weird. It was like a black, a black note. Oh, copper. You know what? I'm going to just refine this right now, actually. So we can just do that. Copper is definitely valuable. All right, let's just keep... I'm kind of worried there's going to be an enemy down here that I'm not ready for. Explore the cave. Yeah, I know. That's what we're doing. There's like... What is that? Is that just... It's just another node stuck in a wall. All right. Lots of stuff to mine down here. This is nice. But yeah, definitely need a refining vehicle. That'll make life so... Uh-oh. Something loaded. Okay. I'm very, I'm very nervous right now. I don't have guns. I should have guns. I feel like this is, 
What the heck is this? Just... No, nothing? Okay. Yeah, I feel like we should have guns. It's also very dark in this part of the cave. This is cool. I love the way they use the destructible rocks to make, like, obstacles that you have to break through. That's, that's really, really cool. I'm a big fan of this. This is neat. I really like this. Okay. Nice little, nice little cave. More scrap metal. Yes, please. I really should get the power drill and then just go ham. So far, like, no copper nodes, though. Like, it seems like the only way to get copper is just the way we've been doing it, where we just mine out rocks. But there are a lot of rocks in this cave. Like, it is super concentrated compared to normal. If we're mining in the overworld, let's call it, um, you know, it'll take a lot longer to get between rock nodes than if we just come down here and, and mine like crazy. I'm gonna get killed. I know it. I, I just can I can feel it. Oh god, this goes, oh, this goes very de- oh no. Okay, let's, let's do the old-fashioned, uh, maze trick. Let's always stay to the left, you know, and then just explore the leftmost path. Oh, hello! Are these copper notes? Oh, that is, that is wonderful. That is, thank you, I am going to hand refine some copper, yes please, I would like copper nodes, that is amazing. Guaranteed copper coming out of these is quite nice. Yep. Gotta just get up there on that one. I don't want to use my lift, because my vehicle's outside on my lift, although I don't really know if bad guys exist in the overworld when we're in a, in a warehouse. I, I feel like they wouldn't. I don't really know the mechanics of how that works in Scrap Mechanic, to be perfectly honest. Because, like, we're in the overworld, I imagine none of our stuff is spawned because the chunk isn't loaded. And so if the chunk's not loaded, then there's no way, like, there'd be wolves killing our vehicle. So we're probably fine. I don't know. We can definitely bring a car down into the mines, though. This is super cool. So far, it seems like we have an imaginary, like, light circle automatically, which is kind of nice, even in the super dark stuff. I wonder how much better the headlamp is. The mining headlamp. Or did I get... I didn't get a mining headlamp, right? No. No. I'm gonna get... We're gonna get lost, 100%. I'm just gonna have to somehow figure out my way out. It's fine. Is this just a dead end? This is just a dead end. Alright, I don't think we went here. That's interesting. There's a lot of barriers there that say keep out. Okay. I'm gonna... I'm just gonna check this way first where it doesn't say keep out. And then we definitely have to go down the keep out route. Where does, what does this connect to? What is that? Oh, I could see if, oh, I see. Oh, this is so cool. It's like a death ravine. I should see if I can cross this bridge. Well, I can definitely cross this bridge. I just need to build with blocks, right? Like if I just do this, can I not, this is this, what is that? Oh, that's probably one of those glowing I probably die if I fall down there. I'm gonna I'm just gonna not I'm just gonna not do that. But yeah, we can just cross the bridge by doing this. Just make a single line of blocks. Because it is scrap mechanic, of course. So that's easy enough. That's actually cool. I'm assuming they want us to build like an actual bridge here. Which we'll eventually do. I'll come back with a lot of blocks. We'll make a bridge that has a platform made of some kind of Oh no. I lived. I lived. Okay. Okay, that's that's not that's not necessarily a good thing. And now we're down here. Oh man. I did not want to be down here. Well, I accidentally pressed the 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 right strafe button on my on my control on my on my keyboard. On my yeah, that was that was bad. Oh god. I can wait, I can build my way out of this if I have to. I can just build back up. That's right. We can just build a pillar. That's not a big deal. All right, let's uh I don't know if I should be exploring this or not. It's, there's nothing this way, it seems. Can I go... up here? What, what is... Is there anything here? Oh, more scrap. Okay. I don't know if I can... I'm just gonna use my lift. I'm gonna assume my vehicle's gonna be fine. Does this... Where is this? This feels like it's gonna go back to... Oh, what did that... Oh, place my lift. I feel like this is gonna go back to that keep out spot. The thing that said keep out. Like, this is just gonna bring us back to that area. Possibly. See if we can just get back out there. 
Yeah, like this goes... Oh, another another node. Always going to get those. We are running out of food. This is why I'm not a cave explorer in real life. It gives me anxiety being in this cave, not knowing how to get out, and not knowing if we have enough food to survive. Like that... I'm not, I'm not a big fan of any of that. Oh, that rock didn't drop nodes. Oh, it just breaks. That's kind of interesting. This one did, though. I wonder if it's because, like, the nodes disappeared below the ground, maybe? Like, they glitched it. I don't know. That's weird. That's cool. All right, where does this go? Does this bring us out? Yeah, there's the. that's the keep out spot, right? Okay, okay, okay. We're, we're back in business. So the keep out spot just brings us to the other side of the cat. Yeah, okay. It brings us down into the chasm. That's kind of what I figured. That makes sense. That's, that's proper. Everything's good. We're back up here. No issues. All right, back across the bridge we go. Not gonna fall this time. Da -da 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 -da. Just gonna leave this bridge here for a while, even though it sucks. There we go. Perfect. Made it easy. Let's just build ourselves a little bit of a support structure on this side. And a little bit of a way to jump up. Maybe. Can I jump? Yep. Perfect. Can get back. Awesome. All right. I guess we gotta get over this rock wall or through it. We're definitely going to have to come back and build an industrial-sized bridge for a vehicle um, at some point. Because I'm assuming we're going to need to be able to, to get in here with a car. Am I going to die? This feels like I wasn't supposed to come here. Are these rocks I can mine, too? No. Just, just scrap rocks. Oh, that's where the light was. Oh! It's a fog. Oh, dang. Oh, dang, this is, this is not, oh, I can go in there somehow. Oh, that's definitely blocking something. Okay. Uh, I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> I don't know what to do. Oh, hello. What is this place? What? What the heck? There's no way that's water. It's like bubbling over here. Is it? Is that water? What? What is? What are these? Can I mine these? No. This place is weird. Oh, it's a clam. Oh, it's oil. Is it? It doesn't kill me. Okay, so that's good. It's not chemicals. Blue clam. Okay, interesting. Is it? It looks like water from here. It's. But then it's, it goes, it's probably water. I think it's water. It looks weird. It like goes dark for some reason. This cave's cool. No bad guys yet though. I keep expecting to come around a corner and, and see something, but nothing. Just an empty, an empty cave full of rock nodes to mine. Uh, this way. Another glue clam. Nice. Is there anything up there? Nope. More dead ends. What about this way? Oh, this looks promising. Yeah, yeah, this is definitely the way to go. You gotta sneak through the water. Okay. Okay. If I see a health bar come up on the screen, I swear to God. Another one of these battery things. Oh, this is, I bet you this is that node that I saw that looked like it opened up to a passageway. More scrap to take. Thank you very much. Oh man, this goes, this goes so far down. No, I'm stuck. Okay. Woo. I almost got stuck in that little hole there underneath the rock. That would have sucked. Glitching out. I might have been able to get out with a chair though. I had that chair in my inventory. Oh, there's a waterfall. Wow. That's so good. Man, the detail they put into this, it's great. Like it's, it's, it's like clearly just a bunch of sprinklers all like set up next to each other, but it's so well done. Like it really looks cool. Let me steal this. Thank you. What was that? Glass blocks and component kits? Okay, sure. Interesting. Um, did we miss something up there? Probably not. That's the same way down. Alright, just keep just keep exploring the cave. This is unbelievable, the amount of detail in this cave. It's insane. Like, it goes... So, I wonder if it's always the same. It's gotta be, right? Like, it's gotta always be the same cave map, regardless of uh, your, your overworld seed. Because there's just no way you could get this level of detail with like a seeded map generation thing. Am I supposed to go 
There was an arrow pointing... Oh, I feel like this is all connected. Is it? Yeah. I feel like this connects over there to the same... It's all the same. I think we gotta go up here. Yeah, big no, no sign. Red, ominous glow. This is definitely where we want to be. Okay, well, that's... Does that kill me? It was red back here. Whoa, that's so cool. I don't know if that's intentional, but it's cool. Does this kill me? No, it's just water. Okay, do I do I go? I gotta swim underwater, don't I? I do. Okay, well... I don't have the scuba stuff. I don't know if we're gonna make this without the scuba stuff. I might... Oh, we gotta mine underwater? There's no way. There's oil here. That's nice. Okay, the oil is the oil is great. We have to mine our way through this cave. Are you serious? I don't have scuba stuff, man. I literally okay. We could we could try. I'll I'll see if I can get through like a node maybe. Let's try mining. There is a way you can literally eat underwater and like, you know, by doing that you can actually sort of uh, live longer. There's no way we're gonna make it through this without scuba stuff. Like, I'm definitely not gonna... Oh my god, we can try. I'm gonna turn around and go back. Okay, here we go. Let's go back, get air. Oh, no air here. Okay, perfect. Gotta go all the way back to here. Oof. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like you need scuba stuff for this. We don't even have the scuba stuff unlocked, though. That's the thing. And the, the main quest we have still says to just explore the cave. So I don't really know what the deal is with that. All right, let's just let's just try it. If I can hack this one more, then this might be enough to break through. It is okay. Let's let's go back, get some air, and see how far we can swim. Maybe there's an air pocket somewhere. Oh boy, this is insane. This is so cool. I've never I never would have expected to see something like this in Scrap Mechanic, where you have to explore a cave and then there's. You know, like an actual... We're so dead. There's no way. Oh, oh, that's air. That's air. Never mind. We're not dead. We can make it. This is this is awesome. Okay. Okay. Air pocket. Oh, boy. <laughs> Where are we even going? I'm so lost. Oh, can I go up here? I can go up here. Get out here. Okay. What's up this way? I have to go back in the water, don't I? Oh, yeah. Oh, great. Okay. Alright, here we go. Uh, let's just do a quick... There, done. Let's go. Can I make it to... Oh, my goodness. We definitely need the scuba gear. It's like freaking Atlantis under here. This is awesome. We can go that way, too. I don't know where that goes. There's an air pocket over here, so we're going this way. I have no idea how we're ever going to get out of this cave. Like, gotta get all the way back to the beginning somehow. No idea how that's going to happen. Just more nodes? Wait, what if we have a vehicle? We won't be able to bring a vehicle up in here. This is this honestly just more nodes? Yeah, we'd have to have, like, there's no way you can make, I don't know if you can make a submarine in this mod. I guess you have propellers. You could make a vehicle that's, I guess, you know, quote unquote a submarine. It won't really give you air, but you could have something that's got propellers that can move up, down, left, and right through the water, I guess. We'd have to try that. See what we can do. Um, is there a... Nope, 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 nope. A lot of nope. Uh, no air over here. We're going back. We're going to die. Going to drown. And that's going to be the end of that. Oh, God, this is going to suck. Come on. Yeah, I know I'm drowning. I know I'm drowning. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We got air. God dang it. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. I feel like we... I, I feel like we should really... Come back with scuba gear, but I'm like 99% sure we don't we don't have the ability to make the scuba gear yet So we need to figure out how to make scuba gear, but I think I think that's what we're gonna have to do Because I got to explore like underwater here and I just don't have the air capacity to do it Do we go this? Oh, this might be a way Or is this the way we came in? No, no, this is different is it just more nodes, though? I can get up. Okay, I can get up here. Hold on a minute. Let's just get... 
This is intense. This is super intense. No, nothing up here. Dead end? Dead end. Okay, what about this way? Anything? A chest. Just a single with some batteries. Okay, that's that's it. This is just like an air pocket. Oh boy. Alright. Not sure if I mentioned this before, but I'm super lost. Um just just letting people know. I am I am in fact very, very lost. Okay, this is new. This is new and it's very deep and very scary. Can I go wait, what's over here? Hold on a minute. Let's just let's just check all of our all of our options before we anything? I don't know what we're even looking for. Oh, this is another spot. What is where does this go? This goes to Another air pocket here with nothing. Just an air pocket. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. There's people who do this kind of stuff in real life. Where they go like swimming in caves. And oh this is where we broke in. This is like back at the beginning. Okay. But yeah there's there's people who do this in real life. Uh, I am I am not a fan. I have no idea how you would ever want to do this in real life. It is the scariest thing I could ever imagine swimming in a cave. Even, even with scuba equipment. That it just seems just seems so sketchy. Um yeah, we need to explore this water. Definitely where we need to go. I think I'm gonna head back though and try and make our way out of here. And we're gonna come back with scuba equipment. Cause like I, there's gotta be a way to get scuba equipment before you're expected to explore this cave. Right? Like, there's no freaking way. Oh, this is another... Where does this go? Coal. Coal. Does this go to another... Goes to here. I don't know where. I don't know where this is. But yeah, we definitely have to explore all that water. And uh, I think the only way we're going to be able to explore underwater there... Oh, this is new. Hello. Oh! What? I found the... Oh, never mind. I found the thing we're looking for. Is this above the chasm? I don't know. I found the thing we're looking for, though. Wow, completely accidental. I was I was just trying to get out. I must explore more. Yeah, this must be the drilling site. Okay. Holy cow. I can't, I can't believe we found this. I have no idea how to get back here. Literally no idea, but it's fine. One man's junk. Okay, another junk seat. No problem. Some extra gas. That's good. Junk seat. A little bit of oil. We can make more gas with oil. All right, never mind. We're not coming back with scuba equipment. We're going to just, you know, raid this place first. And then get out of here with scuba equipment. Wow, actually a bunch of stuff to hit. Copper blocks, scrap engine. Like, I'm literally never going to use that. I might throw that out. More copper blocks, scrap wheel. Yeah, we're not, we're just going to, we're just going to throw the scrap wheel out and the scrap engine out for inventory space. I'm going to steal the gas. Is that a metal, can I steal this? No. I can steal the fluorescent light tube. That's cool. Pick up the scrap metal there. This is definitely pick up that. Oh, this is... What? I'm so... Con were we... No, it's a different cave. We were in a different cave with water. Right? Probably. Another scrap seat. I'm, gonna, I'm probably... Yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna throw out all the scrap stuff. We're... We're above scrap stuff now. We're... We're advanced a little bit. Well, I'm glad we found the drilling site. That's cool. I don't know. There's got to be something in that water to another scrap engine. Don't need that. But yeah, there's got to be something in the water there. I mean, there was a huge underwater cave system. But I'm, I don't want to go there. We're going to get trapped without oxygen tanks. So yeah, not going to not gonna keep doing that. What What's up here? It's like this whole mine collapsed on them. Can I get up? No, can't get up there. What about if I just use my lift? Oh, yeah, there we go. Nothing, nothing. Anything? No. I will take this level 2 seat. Thank you very much. That is an upgrade. Nothing. That's it. All right, I guess we got to keep exploring this part of the cave. Uh, do, do we go we go this way? I guess we just pick a direct. There's rocks. Interesting. More rocks. This cave system is intense. Like, super, super intense. 
like hold did I come this way no I have no idea where we are I'm I'm so incredibly lost it's not even funny I have no idea how to get home my parents are worried this is another I, I don't I don't know if I came up this way I must explore yeah I'm still exploring the cave no, now I'm back. This is back at the water spot. Yeah, this is... Okay, so that's where I gotta go underwater. Definitely gonna come back with scuba equipment for that. If that's what we gotta do. So this comes back this way. This goes this way. And then I went... That's the way I came from, I think, initially. This goes back... Towards... That part. And then this is goes towards the, the drilling site. That... Is that right? I don't even know how to get back to where I just was. Oh my god. Keep out. Yeah, okay. That, that's... This is the drilling site, right? No? Oh my god. Where where are we? Okay. Well, we're going this way now. Maybe I'll find out how to get home. Down to our last 10 beats now. Which is not, not great. Still gonna follow the left here. Oh, can I sneak under this? I can. Another copper node. Interesting. The prompt keeps telling me to explore the cave. So obviously that drilling site wasn't what we were looking for. We were looking for something else. I don't. I don't know. There's nothing there. Okay. Oh, that's cool. This copper a call node resting up top there. We'll definitely have to come back here and, and collect. As much stuff as we can. This is going to be a great spot for mining. Literally just start at the beginning. We're also going to... I think I'm going to start mapping the cave with like some sort of a light or a block or something. Like maybe if we have a bunch of spotlights. What the heck? Oh, it's nothing. Like maybe if we have a bunch of spotlights, you know, we can come and put the spotlights down and make paths through the caves. And that way we'll know, you know, which way we're going. I think this is the way out. Is it the way out? It seems like this is the way out. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the way out. Because we're back at the light paths. And I'm pretty sure I had to climb over this to get into the... I have no idea where we are. Wait, is... What is that? Did... Would it... No, hold... I don't remember this fence. Nope, this is definitely not the way out. This is... This is not. There is something... Okay. Keep that bearing. Get rid of the scrap engine. This is one of these old containers. Alright, nice. Some stuff. Oh my god, what is this now? What, what, I thought, I was just following the left. I just wanted to get out. What is this? The scrap fortress? Yeah, I know everything's falling to pieces. Entrance? Oh my goodness. Okay, that's, that's blocked with rocks. Okay. That's a free gas can. That's cool. That's cool. That's great. Just... Interesting cardboard block that's invincible. Is this a free wheel? It is a free wheel. Inventory full. Wait, I could take this whole vehicle apart? Oh, that's cool. Alright, I'm gonna have to figure out how to get back here and take that apart. It's like covered in wedge blocks and stuff. But that's neat that we could take this apart. What kind of controller is that? Level 2? This is cool. This is one of those uh, abandoned structures that you'd normally find in the overworld. And now we're finding it here. It's it's neat. I, I still have no idea how to get back to the entrance. I keep be I keep thinking like, alright, I'm gonna go back to the entrance. We're gonna like, you know, end this episode. Go back to the entrance and uh, come back later with like better tools and stuff. And uh, definitely a scuba suit. And then, oh look, I found the next place we're supposed to go completely accidentally. Which, you know... Is sort of interesting. I'm just trying to make sure we're not missing anything. Alright, let's go into this place. Oh my god. This is... What does this do? No connections. Okay. The storage container of nothing. Blueprints. High voltage cables and compact battery socket? What? What the heck is that? Nothing in there? Okay. What does a high voltage cable do? All right, can I, nothing, nothing here, okay. Empty, half empty chest. Mining helmets, headlamps, can I steal one? I cannot, I can steal these collectors. 
Well, that's cool. If I had a vehicle, I would come steal these collectors 100%. I don't want to I don't want to take them otherwise. That goes somewhere else. All right, we got to we got to go break into the first floor. Or I guess we could just drop down here. What's in this? Some gas. Thank you. Inventory's getting a bit full. Nothing down here. This is the first Okay, the doors still work. That's amazing. Can't take any of this stuff. Nothing. Yeah, I can't take any of this at all. This place is so creepy. It's... Oh, what was that? Was there like... A... I saw a text like pop up on my screen for a fraction of a sec. Oh. Battery container. Or another battery container. Okay. I don't know if I should put batteries in them. Took the batteries out. Do those batteries run all the doors? No. Doors are fine. That's lights. Oh, this is the entrance. That's definitely the entrance that's blocked up. Okay. Steal that component kit. Thank you very much. Anything here? Another chest. Ooh, fertilizer. All right. We're going to probably be ditching some stuff here pretty soon. Like batteries. Uh, wow. I have a lot of scrap metal. Okay. Um, you know what? I'm going to ditch... Oh, there's chests here too. All right. I'm going to ditch the soil and the fertilizer and the circuit board. Ah, uh, no, circuit boards are good. Glue clams, I can ditch that in the glass block. That's all easy stuff to make. Glue clams, it's, it, we got a ton of glue clams in the old world. It's not a big deal there. We'll just ditch that stuff. I don't know if it'll stay here. Refinery. Oh, they put a refinery sideways. That's really cool. Anything? No? Nothing? More collectors. Wow. Oh my god, a collector full of coal. Oh, these all have stuff in them. Yo, that's so sick. That's so sick. Where did that go? Oh, I just got picked up by another collector. That's right. That's so cool. So we can we can actually take up the stuff, drop it, and then I could refine it. Oh, man, that's sick. Definitely gonna have to come back here and do that. I don't want to do it now because I don't have a lot of stamina, and refining takes stamina, and I'm worried that, you know, we're gonna burn through it. There are so many collectors here. This is insane. Holy cow. I mean, it makes sense. It's a mining place. But dang, son. We can, uh, we can come back and grab just a whole heck of a lot of collectors. All right, where was that passageway? This way. The only way left to go. What did Bill mean with a bad prank? Yeah, did he really do this? Yeah, I'm pretty sure Bill blew all this stuff up. You're wondering why a, how a building gets destroyed? It's because Bill blew it all up. I'm like 99% sure that's the deal. All right, just break this stuff. Nice. Always love the copper. The copper's great. We're uh, we're getting a bit screwed here on the food, though. A hundred percent getting screwed on the food. Oh god. Let's go left. Okay, this just goes into an area where we could mine some stuff copper node there. I kind of I kind of want to grab it even though we're screwed on the food. Oh, that got yeeted. There we go. Oh, this just goes to a dead end. Perfect. Let's go the other way. Yeah, Bill Bill blew up all this stuff. Good on Bill, man. Look at look at the amount of work he did. This was a lot of explosives. Is this more water? Ah, oh, great. Ah, oh, great. Great indeed. Wait. Oh, it just ends. It's not more water. There's just nowhere to go. There's a duck here. Wait, can I go down here? No. Nothing. It's just... Just a duck. There's no... There's no water there. Question Bill. Oh, I, I literally explored the rest of the HQ. Okay, that's it. That's... So we gotta somehow get our way out of here. Alright. Cool. We'll fill up our inventory on the way out. That's just... There's more... There's definitely more to this cave. I mean, there's that other... There's that other water spot that we didn't fully explore... So I'm definitely gonna have to come back here with uh, some scuba stuff. But either way, let's just let's just try and make our way out of this place. I don't know how to get out of here, but you know, we'll we'll figure it out. I'm brave. I'm an adventurer. I got nine beats to keep me alive in this cave. <laughs> this is this is cool. This is really cool. Got to build some stuff though. Got to come back with some stuff. I'm very curious as to what the high voltage cables were for. Like why that was a recipe. Got to get back to the crafting stations to see what that's all about. But yeah, I'm, I'm very curious about what those are. Because that's something neat. 
This is cool, man. This is this is a wicked mod. There's so much stuff to explore in this. Alright, let's grab some of this stuff. Um, any of it? Yeah, I guess we can just grab it all. Whatever. And then that stuff we'll have to come back for, break it all down. Nothing there. Yeah, nothing down here. Alright, cool. Okay, oh, is that an actual engine? Hello. Hello. I will I will gladly drop this scrap seat for this actual engine. Yes, please. Is that just a level it's just a level one? That's okay. We can upgrade it. That's cool. Alright, so what we're gonna do is just always hang a left, I guess, until we get out of the cave. And hopefully that'll that'll work. Bill Bill did some damage. It is going to be so hard to find our way back here in the future. But yeah, I'm definitely going to like wait a little bit to come back here, I think. And I'm going to... Well, I'm going to come mine here for sure. We're definitely going to build a vehicle that can fit on the elevator. This is not the way we came because that is blocked off. But yeah, we're going to need a scuba suit for sure to explore the underwater part of this. There's definitely going to be more of that underwater part. We're going to need a, a vehicle that's small and can fit on the lift. We can bring it down with a refinery and some collectors, and then that way we can, you know, power drill our way through this. We're gonna need the power drill for sure. And then I also wanna build a, um, uh, I wanna, I wanna get a, uh, a, a series of lights. Like, just build, like, 20 or 30 lights with some paint, and then we can just put lights down on the ground as we go, and that way we can sort of mark our own paths. You know, like, the way the old hospitals worked with, like, the colored lines? I want to do that with lights. So it's like, oh, we need to get to the mining HQ. We'll put down red lights or something. We need to get to this place. We'll put down green lights, you know, to the water. We can put down like blue lights. And so we know we have to follow the lights that are blue to get to that, that water spot. You know, stuff like that. Because this cave is insanely massive. Like this is huge. And uh, I'm very lost. Where does this go? This is... There's fiery stuff. There's like embers. This is, oh, this is this part. But what's down there? There's like embers burning. What the heck? Okay, well, we're going down here now. What is this? I have a sword. Don't mess with me, man. Oh, it's their drill. It's their actual drill. Oh, this is so cool. Oh my goodness. There's so much. I'm so lost. It's just a bunch of nodes and a golden chest. Okay. Well, that's nice. Another engine. I will drop stuff for another engine. Uh, six potatoes. Yeah, you're gone. More chemicals. I will drop stuff for chemicals too. Uh, fluorescent light tube. Yeah, no. Fluorescent light tube can go. I'll take chemicals instead. Chemicals are very useful. I mean, we can make chemicals as well pretty easily, but... Okay, so this is just a golden chest up here. That's it. That's it. Nothing else. Super fancy. No. Yeah, just down here we go. All right, back into the drill room. Let's get out of this cave. I, I'm, I'm getting anxiety now. I got to get out of this cave. I've been in this cave for like quite literally an hour and a half, and uh, I'm, I'm scared. I don't know how to leave. All right, under the sneaky... Uh, oh, I can't actually swim under that. That's interesting. Under the sneaky passage... Remember this. Perfect. And then we just keep going up to get out, I think. Oh! Interesting. Large drill. Unlocked the large drill recipe. Just found it here on this piece of... I saw something sparkling and I was like, oh. Inter I wonder if the power drill recipe is somewhere down here. Same with the handsaw. We still don't even have the handsaw recipe. We just have a handsaw from that side quest. But, like, I can't build more of them. But, I mean, we don't really need to, but it's interesting. I don't I don't know where that... Or the power saw, I mean. But I don't know where the recipe is for it. But interesting, the large drill recipe. Very curious about that. I imagine that's just the drill head, though. That we could mount to a vehicle. Although, we don't really need it, to be honest. I think if we get the power drill, that's going to be, you know... The solution to all the problems. All right, found the elevator. Thank God. Let's get out of this place. Ooh, what an adventure. That place is cool. Gonna have to, gonna be like the number one biting spot for sure. But uh, you need a vehicle that can refine your blocks for you. Otherwise, you're just gonna run out of stamina. Our car is good, right? Yeah, we're back. All right, perfect. So we unlocked some recipes. I just want to check those out real quick. Uh, one of them was large cables, I think. Let's go look in the, the, this. So we unlocked the large drill... 
recipe, which isn't in here. It'll be in the metalworking, right? This is probably the large drill. No, that's just the drill. Oh, that's the large drill. But smoother and larger. Oh. We're gonna have to build one of these and just see. Because I, I still think the hand drill is going to be better because you can, like, the power drill, because you can put it where you want it. But we'll have to see how good that large drill is, because maybe it's actually something. We unlock this, the headlamp. We'll build one of those and build ourselves 10,000 headlights. We have guns. I should make a gun. Honestly, we can make a gun. We have, we have the ability to make guns. I should build guns. Although, there didn't seem to be any bad guys down there, so I'm, I'm not really... What is this? Compact battery socket. Required component for powering large buildings. 21 high volt. Oh, these are high voltage cables. Oh, I thought those were conveyor belts. It's high voltage cables. Okay, so we can make those. And then we make these for powering large build. I have no idea what that's all about. That is that is very interesting. So we'll have to have to figure that one out. Got a lot of components out of that mine though. A lot of like, you know, useful building materials and stuff. But uh, let's head back to base. And, uh, you know, reassess. We'll have to go talk to Bill at some point. I might build some stuff. Like, maybe build a truck or something. Obviously, you got to clear that road coming out of the base as well. But, might build a truck and then also build a refining vehicle. So, we can go back to the mine and have a nice compact refining vehicle. Probably just like a single collector, single refinery situation. Because that elevator is only so big. And, uh, you know, I don't think we could fit like a massive vehicle on it. But something that's small and automatically refines stuff. Maybe it's got a couple chests. And that way we can just use it for uh, for our mining adventures. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Make sure, of course, you hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Man, that's that's there's so much cool stuff in this mod. It's unbelievable. I mean, that mine is just insane. I feel like I've explored, like, maybe 5% of the mine. I mean, we found the buildings and stuff. But there's so many, like, tunnels and passageways and stuff that we could go down. And uh, I just, I, you know, gonna have to go back there with some proper tools and figure out what's up. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And we'll see y'all next time.